Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. So today's video we're going to talk about the uh, heat exchange subassembly that goes on to the reactor. So basically what we're talking about here is the subassembly that's on the side of the reactor here. It's a two chamber box, uh, the one that takes the gas as it's created from the reactor and then goes up and then circulates that around the pyrolysis layer. Uh, next to the uh, reactor, it's probably uh, one of the most complicated uh, sub-assemblies. So we're going to kind of walk through this. So what I've got here is this is a heat exchange that's built just for uh, reference. You, would, you can actually build it like this and then attach it later. You actually have to build it onto the reactor. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show you the pieces and how it's coming together. Basically, it's a two-chamber system. Uh, the, and when the gas comes out of the gas fire, this main chamber here, the gas rises up and it enters in here. It enters into the pyrolysis uh, liner, goes around the reactor, and then comes out here, and then it goes out. Now you can either go out through the top, which we've been doing, or now on this uh, new version, we're actually going to be coming out through the side here and going into the cooling assembly. There's a clean-out port here for this chamber. There's a clean-out port down here for the main chamber. And then we have a stainless steel assembly for the air intake. So that's kind of what the box looks like when it's assembled, but it'll be attached to the gas fire. And you have to actually build it on the gas fire piece by piece. You can't build a box like this and attach it just because of the way. So the assembly drawings that we're going to be referencing are these guys. So this kind of shows you uh, the gas fire piece itself. Here we're looking at building the air intake with the uh, stainless steel tubes and the heat vents. Here's the order that it's going to be built. We're going to start with the bottom plate. We're going to put the uh, air intake on. Then we're going to put the front panel on attached through the uh, air intake. Then we're going to put the side panels on. We're going to build the box. And then the very last assembly is closing off the exit box. You can see here I've got the uh, exits on that box that's going to go out horizontally rather than vertically. Um, so basically that's the assembly. Um, it's not that bad once you understand the function and how it fits together. We'll go through here and actually uh, pull out the gas fire reactor and show you how this thing's going to fit on there. All right. All right, welcome back. Okay, so here's the broken down of the parts for the heat exchange and the air intake. So here we start off, we see the stainless steel assembly. Um, we've got two uh, one and a half inch elbows, the centerpiece, and we've got the stainless steel uh, heat fins. So on the uh, heat exchange, we've got the bottom plate, we've got the front plate, we've got the lower side plate in the back, we've got the upper side plate, in the back, uh, and then we've got top plates. Now, if you're going to be coming out the top uh, with the exit, then we'll have one top plate that's covered, one top plate with a hole. If you're going to go out the back or the side, we'll have two solid plates, and then we'll put a hole, an extra hole here for the exit. Then we've got the back panel. Then we've got a separator plate, and then we've got this divider plate. So looking at the completed assembly, oh, we've got uh, we've got two two inch clean outs. So on the bottom, we've got a half coupler with a two inch plug. We've got the front plate that's going to be where the air intake goes. We've got the uh, air intake assembly. We've got the separator plate that goes in and attaches to the pyrolysis liner. This is where the, the gas is divided and circulates around the pyrolysis liner. We've got this separator plate that separates these two chambers. This chamber and this chamber are separated from each other. Then we've got the clean out port here. And then here, if you're going out the top, we come out the top here with a with two inch nipple. If you're gonna be coming out the back, then we would put, uh, put a solid plate here and we would put the nipple here to come straight out the back. Uh, so that's what the parts look like. Like I said, it's a bit of a complicated in the, in the process of building it. The parts themselves aren't that complicated. Next, we'll go through and actually uh, attach it to the uh, reactor and show you how it's fit together.
All right, welcome back. Okay, so now continuing on with our heat exchange, I want to show you what the fit looks like. So here I've got a dry fit. These aren't fully welded up pieces. This is just sort of a dry fit to kind of show you. So we've got the uh, reactor lower and upper housing. We've got the clean out port, the ignition port. And then on the side here, we have the heat exchange. So now you'll notice at the bottom, we've got where the gas comes out of the reactor from the reduction tube and it starts to rise and it rises up in front of the air intake. These are the stainless steel assembly that the uh, raw air comes in. That raw air gets preheated from the hot gas that's coming out from the reduction chamber. It rises up and then this box you see is actually split into two chambers. Uh, the main chamber where the gas rises up and goes into the pyrolysis layer here circulates around the pyrolysis layer and then comes out here and then we can either exit out through the top or we can exit out through the back to go into the cooling assembly. So this is how all the pieces are. It's a little bit uh, tricky to build because you have to weld the air intake first before you can put the box in. So what you want to do is similar to what I've got here is you want to kind of do dry fit the parts so that you know where the air intake's got to be in on the outlet on the front here so because you're going to want to tack this take the box parts off do a full weld around your air intake uh, and then start building the box uh, piece by piece so you'd start with the bottom box the bottom and you have the clean out on it then you put the front and you weld where the uh, air intake hits that and then you can start building up the divider plate that goes in the top pieces uh, this, the, the bottom side panel, the very last piece that you're going to put in is this upper side panel and you're going to weld from this side to make sure that that box is completely sealed. You don't want the gas mixing here. You want the gas to flow up around the pyrolysis and then out here. You don't want it to get mixed inside the box here. And then we put on the back plate uh, from there. So that's kind of what the, what the heat exchanger looks like. I said it's a little tricky. Uh, the assembly drawings goes through it in a little bit more detailed in the steps. Um, and then after you're done with this, you're going to leak test it as well. You're going to leak test uh, and make sure that the gas isn't leaking from any of the outside welds around that box. And then finally, once the, once the reactor is done and the heat shield is done, then you can add the external insulation layer on. All right, uh, that's about it for now. Good, good luck on your builds, and we will see you on the next one.